Number 34. Why do batteries go dead, but fuel cells do not? That's always been a burning question in my mind, so let's answer it. Now, the difference between batteries and a fuel cell is basically what's going on with the reagents that are being used to make the battery run and the fuel cell run. Now, in in the case of a battery, right, when you use a AA battery or a AAA battery or even like the batteries inside of your cell phones, right, you always have to constantly charge them. And if you don't, after a while, they just go dead and they won't turn back on. This is because for batteries, there's always a limited amount of reagents that can be used. So there's always like a limited amount of reagents, whatever those reagents are. But the thing is, is, is that what's happening is that there's a chemical reaction that's happening when a battery is being run, right? It's a redox reaction. And as that redox reaction is happening, byproducts, right? Products are going to start building up in the battery. A battery is self-contained, right? Basically, what's ever going on inside that battery is, is going inside that battery. Nothing's really coming out of the cell. So since it's self-contained, there are byproducts that are made. And the byproducts are like excess products, right? Products that are just like tossed to the side. So byproducts are made. And because of this, it, it basically doesn't allow the battery to roll, to run at its full capacity. And basically the more byproducts that are made, the more longer the battery runs, the, it's going to basically get like all cloudy with these byproducts in the battery. And when that happens, the reagents are going to run, run, run out and can't be used. And that's when the battery goes dead. Fuel cells, on the other hand, um, a, a good example of fuel, fuel cells is like hydrogen fuel cells in which extended long space shuttle missions are, you know, are being run on fuel cells, right? Those, those types of cells have to be run for days upon end, right? Usually a battery will, will go out and maybe like for your cell phone, maybe it'll go out in like 12 hours or something like that. But in a fuel cell, it's more open, that basically, if you have, um, basically, uh, we'll say the reagents can be constantly used, so constantly used just as long as there's reagents around the area of the fuel cell as reagents are provided. And there's, there's no idea or there's, there's nothing that is inhibiting the fuel cells, like the byproducts, they're not made. Basically, whatever gets produced, it goes basically out of the fuel cell, so then it just kind of regenerates. And if there's reagents that are, you know, around that the fuel cell can use, they're gonna use it and then release the products and then it keeps going and going and going. But mainly the idea is that there is only a limited amount of reagents for batteries. However, if there, you know, if there are reagents constantly in the fuel cell, it's just going to keep running and running and running. And that's the, the main idea of the difference between batteries going dead and fuel cells not. What'd you think? I hope this helped. Thank you so much for viewing the video. And let's just keep learning. All right. Check the channel out. We got physics and math videos and I will talk to you soon. Okay. Bye-bye.